Good evening, everyone. Dana here with Love Solo Flowers. We are going to do a tie-on corsage today. So I do have a video here on this page <clears throat> doing corsages and boutonnieres, but they are the ones that you have to have like the base for. So a lot of people are asking me how to do ones like with ribbon or lace or any of that kind of stuff. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. So I'll just wait for some of you to come on and then we will um, just tell you all the supplies you need. Um, I use um, three flowers for the basic um, corsage that I do. So that is what I'm using tonight. And um, yeah, so let's just wait for some people to come on. Hey Erica, hey everyone. I see you guys, say hi if you come on. You can share this uh, also because it is a public. So you can go ahead and share to your friends and family um, if they're getting into Sola too. Hey Jackie, hey everybody. Okay, so um, let's just talk about the different corsages. So again, I've done a tutorial on the corsages, the ones that has like a base on it. And it, what it does is like, you can buy them on Amazon and stuff. It has the band and then it has like a metal piece or like a plastic piece on it. And then you just build on top of that, which makes it really easy. And it's a slip on, it's either like pearls or elastic or something like that. Hey, Patricia. So again, people have been asking me like, what if you just want to tie lace or, um, you know, ribbons? Hey, Kimberly. Hi everybody. Hi, Jolene. So that's what we're doing tonight. So let me tell you what we have here. So I'm going to do lace. Hey, Tiffany. Um, Martha, hi, everybody. Okay, I'm going to start. All of you saying hi. I see you all now. So this lace um, is actually elastic lace. Okay, so it's stretchy. And I like to use the elastic lace all the time, like even on my bouquet handles, because when you um, wrap it, you can pull it and it never like bunches. Hey, Leanne. Um, so I actually like to use it uh, for my corsages as well because you can tie it and um, it's easier to tie like tight without it slipping. Um, you can use ribbon though and you can use regular lace, but what I'm using tonight is elastic lace, okay? And again, it saves you if you're gonna do bouquet handles in this too, saves you, okay? So I have that as my base. Um, then I have um, something that I'm gonna build on, okay? So I'm using a piece of burlap. So you need something kind of strong and something stiff. Some people use felt, hey Nancy. Some people use felt, some people even use cardboard or something like that. But I like to just use, this is actually wired burlap. And um, I'm gonna use this as what I'm building on because you can't just put the flowers directly on the lace. Well, first of all, the glue will go through, but also because it won't hold its shape and it'll like, fall apart once you put it on your wrist. So you need something with some firmness. And let me show you, let me show you what I got here. So I know it's backwards though in your thing. Um, but this is wired um, burlap and how many inches? Two and a half inches wide. Okay, and I find that the two and a half inches um, gives you enough space to build a decent sized corsage on it. And it's kind of almost, well, it's the width of mine. Maybe I have big wrists, who knows, but it's, it's about the width of my wrist. So um, that's the size that I use there. Now, the flowers I'm using are two inch flowers. And right now we're having a sale at lovesolaflowers.com. And um, regular solo flowers are 60% off if you use the code NEW60. Okay, NEW60 gets you 60% off. Um, our regular solo flowers, our Fifth Avenue flowers, and our fillers are 20% off, but you don't need any, um, you don't need any code for those, okay? So if you're picking up flowers and you're doing your own wedding or something, I use three two inch flowers for corsage. Um, and I use two inch flowers for boutonnieres too. So um, just so you guys know what sizes I'm using. And again, all of these flowers would be part of the 60% off um, using the code new 60. So I got my flowers, okay, my three two inch flowers. Um, I've got a bunch of just, Bow filler that I had around so a lot of times with corsages because you don't want to like take apart like a whole stem of filler and ruin it just for like a corsage so what I do is I have like a basket maybe you all have a basket too but I have a basket of like all my leftover greeneries from things and so like I just grabbed a pile of greeneries I know it looks like I haven't thought about this, but I did. I just I just save all my little petals and everything and I use it to make boutonnieres and corsages. Um, if you watched a while back, I did something with some gold fillers. I have some rose gold fillers because I'm using one pink flower today. So I have some rose gold fillers, again, just fake fillers. But then I have Love Sola's Starflower 
just to bring some like real life to it. And so um, if you watch me, usually if I do use a lot of faux fillers, I also use a dried or a preserved because that's what your eye will be drawn to and it just is higher quality that way. So I am gonna use those um, at the end as well. So first we have to prep our um, piece of lace here. So I'm gonna find the center because obviously I want it centered. And I'm going to just make like a sandwich with this wired burlap. And I'm gonna glue the lace inside of it. And again, it's just making myself a base to build my flowers on. Because if you try to glue your flowers directly to your lace or your ribbon, once you pull it down and like it goes around because it's not, you know, flat, it's going to just like tear apart. So I'm going to put some glue and just make like a little sandwich. It's a hot one. It's a hot, it's a very hot sandwich. So just be careful because lace and burlap, the glue will seep through. Okay, so I have my little thing and I'm gonna show you how it just will. So do you see how it's gonna give you, and you're gonna cover it, so don't worry about that, but it gives you, you know, your thing. So you can go thinner if you wanna go thinner. Um, I just did this one because this is what fit my wrist. So <laughs> maybe you want to ask if it's like for a prom, they might have skinnier wrists. So you might not want to go so thick with that. But, um, so I always start with like a little bit of greenery first. Um, in all of my arrangements, I always start with like a leafy green first, and then we build up to the like fun fillers or colored fillers or happy fillers, right? So I'm going to just add some greens down as a base. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. And when you're building, make sure that you know, you have, there's, there's usually two sides of like lace. There's the flat side and then there's like the bumpier side. Make sure you're building on the front side of it because otherwise you do all that work for no reason. Um, I like this little piney kind of green here to um, just bring in the fall a little bit. So again, I'm just putting this little bit in my I always build, I always build corsages the exact same way. Maybe it just because it's, I just do it. So I always start in my right hand corner, my top right hand corner, and I make it go out to the side towards the corner. And I'm just going to hold that down. It just takes a minute to dry because we're, we're on just lace. Um, and then, yeah, so let me just wait for that to dry. Okay, so then I'm going to take one of my flowers. The rest of the fillers I'm gonna use once I have everything thing down. So again, my flowers I'm using are two inch flowers. They're part of the um, Sola sale. It is new 60. Oh, it's pinned on the bottom for you. It's new 60 and that will get you 60% off a regular Sola flowers. And then the fillers and the Fifth Avenue are 20% off, but you don't need a code for that. So I'm gonna glue kind of on the side of my flower, okay, on the side of it and lay it on my greenery. Okay, so it's kind of going to the side a little bit, up into the right side, and I have that down. Actually, I look, I have another corsage band. So this is the corsage bands that like are made, that have an elastic. So let me show you. Okay, so you can build on that. But some people like the bow and the tie one um, these days. So that's what they look like if you're gonna use a base but we're not this time. And I do have the tutorial um, under corsages here on our Facebook page. Okay, now I'm gonna take my next flower and I'm going to position it right next to <clears throat> the flower that I've already put down. So I'm kind of putting, again, glue on the side of it because they don't go straight up and down. They kind of go on their sides. And it's okay that the burlap is showing because we're gonna use all our fillers to fill in. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna press that in Trying not to glue my table underneath, but both the burlap and the lace have holes, so. Then we're gonna do our last flower, and that's just gonna fill the space on this side, okay? And again, don't worry about what's showing because we're going to fill that up, okay? And you can use something thick too, like what you put to be your base. I mean, you can match the color to your ribbon or your lace if you wanna like make it blend a little bit easier but um, I like the burlap. It's, it's actually a soft burlap. It's doesn't like, it's not scratchy or anything. And um, I just like the amount of firmness it gives. So I'm gonna put these little um, rose gold leaves that I have 
And I'm gonna just put them between, over that burlap, cover that spot. I'm gonna put these between my two flowers on this side. Okay, see that? And then here, I'm gonna spin it around this way. So then I always go like in between my gaps. So I have some other greens here. I have this kind of ferny piece. It's plastic, so when I hit it with the glue, it melts just a little bit, so I get it in there fast. And I'm gonna put the ferns down and then I've got a couple more fillers. And this is how fast you guys can make corsages. Like, I know a lot of people are like stressed sometimes about their accessories, but it really shouldn't take a long time and it's really not difficult. The only difficult thing is the glue that sticks everywhere. So I'm gonna put those there and then I have these guys. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull the tops off of them and I'm gonna put them in the gaps as well. So I like to layer my greenery. I don't like to just use one. I always like to layer. So I'm gonna put that in there and then I'm gonna use the top of this one on the other side, okay? I'm gonna put this on top of my rose gold. All right, so do you see what we've got so far? And so then I'm just gonna add my um, starflower filler and that's it. Like, that's how fast this was. It is super easy, not difficult at all. It's just about having the right ingredients, okay? So you're gonna, again, I like the stretchy lace, um, and then the burlap was just right about how thickness it was, how much thickness it was. Actually, let me put my greens in first. I've got these little furry things too that I wanna put in the center. So let me put these in the center first, and then I'll put the star flower last. So the star flower, again, I like to use in every one of my pieces at least one type of preserved or dried because your eye just goes to that real Okay, so here's the star flower. We do have other colors. This is the natural. The fillers are 20% off. We did have a bunch of new fillers we added too. If you like a filler for your wedding, um, buy it while it's on sale because we, you know, crops change and like don't wait to the last minute for fillers. If there's a color and a filler that you love, just go for it when it's on sale and just buy as much as you need because um, we are constantly, you know, having to go along with the crops and everything like that and what we're able to get in. So if you love a filler, do it while it's on sale so that you're guaranteed to have it because, yeah, because we already sold that, I think, of the German status. Um, but yeah, Caspia is really good for um, corsages. The boxwood would be really, this is actually kind of like fake boxwood, but um, the boxwood would be, be perfect for... Um, a corsage, the willow eucalyptus, you can pull. It's actually, again, you know how I said I save all my like scraps? The willow eucalyptus, because sometimes you just need the top with greenery, you can pull the bottom leaves off and save them for your corsages and boutonnieres. And that way you're not wasting anything else. Okay, so let me show you how pretty it is. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to tie it on my own hand. I'm not sure if I can tie it with one hand, but we're gonna see, and I will show you how this works. Again, it's it's really easy when you do a stretchy lace. And I have to use my teeth for this, guys, but I'm gonna attempt to do it. Wait, hold on, hold on, I think you do it. Okay, wait, I got it. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was. I was like a little nervous. Let me see if I can make the bow. This is like a fun game. Okay, I can't make a bow with, with one hand, but um, I bet you I could just make a knot and slide it off, but maybe I won't do it for the sake of getting stuck in it. But it should be a bow. Here, wait, let me see if I could do a bow. I'm gonna try. I like, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, I definitely can't make a bow, but I can make a knot, <laughs> that's fine. But you would put it in a bow, or you could double knot. Here, let me double knot it just so it stays so I can show it to you. I'm gonna do a loose one before I get stuck in this. If you see this on my next video on my arm, it means I got stuck in it. And then you can trim it, obviously, however long you want it, but but um, I, like it is the look to like let it hang a little bit. Holly, I'm a hot mess because <laughs> I am a hot mess because I didn't think about tying a bow. But um, I'm sure some of you can tie a bow with one hand, but not me. So if you can see, sorry, I've got my little kitty Band-Aid on here too but can you see that? Do you guys see how fast that was? I don't know. 
These take me like five minutes. They're super easy. They're easier than, Kimberly, they are easy. They are easier to do than these, but not everyone wants to do a tie-on. So, you, you know, I would make sure you ask if someone wants elastic or pearls or a tie-on because um, some people don't want this. Although they can clip it really tight if they want to, but some might not want a bow around their wrist. I think it's cute, especially like, I don't know, like a prom with little ribbons or something. Again, if you don't use the lace, you can use ribbon. But they are much easier than using this because it's not a full square. Like, I don't I don't even get it why there's space. But, but um, I mean, I do. You're supposed to fold them over and do all this weird stuff. But um, this is just kind of an easy, quick way to do it. And even if you tuck it up under, it's so easy, Patricia. You'll be able to, all of you can do this fast. Okay, I promise. These things shouldn't take you a crazy amount of time. Don't overthink them too. Like, don't try to like perfect placement it and everything. Just keep going. Just stick stuff around and usually it works out for the best, okay? So again, these were two, I mean, three two-inch flowers. Um, the Amor Lotus and the Bird Rose. Those are part of the sale along with the other regular solo flowers and you use the code NEW60 to get 60% off. Um, if you're going to use, um, if you're going to buy fillers or the Fifth Avenue, they're automatically 20% off. So you don't have to do anything for that. Again, if you love a filler, if you love, love, love a filler, like if you love Caspia in cobalt blue, like buy it when it's on sale because, you know, our crops are always changing. People are always buying. So we don't know exactly, you know, what we will have in stock. So if you love something for your wedding, grab it while you have it. And the same things goes for flowers because, you know, there are some flowers that are really popular, some flowers that we get um, certain times of the years or whatever. So if there's a flower you love or a filler you love, get it while it's on sale and then that way um, you're sure to have it. Um, I do like the <clears throat> stretchy lace for the corsage because it's super comfortable because it's like obviously the perfect tightness. It doesn't move like at all and um, it's comfortable and like soft. So ribbons are a little bit harder um, because there's no stretch to it. So when you tie it, it you know, you have to make like a double knot bow kind of thing. But again, if you're, if you're in the wedding or at a prom, someone else will tie your bow for you. You don't have to try to do it yourself like I did. So I hope you like that. Again, each little gap, I just did some different fillers. I like mine a little wild. I like kind of sprigs everywhere. But look how pretty it is. I think I probably could slide it off. Maybe I can't. I can't slide it off, but after this video, I'll use my teeth to bite it off. So, um, <laughs> you might want to have someone else tie it for you. But, uh, yeah, so, and again, you can do all three colors. You can do the colors of your wedding, or you can do the colors that match whoever's wearing the dress. So, um, a lot of times, like, I'll ask my brides, too, like, if the mom is wearing, you know, not the same color as the bridesmaids, then she might want to match her as opposed to what the bouquets were okay and then it's obviously staying neutral this just has one pink flower the raw flowers neutral obviously will match uh, anything that you do so you know you can match either your bouquets or you can match the person who's going to be wearing them so you can just always figure that out too so again i just mixed a bunch of fillers and put them in and that is it quick and easy tie on corsage so um i guess that's it take advantage of our sale while it's going on um, no problem, Kimberly. I have fun doing things to show you how fast and easy they can be. Um, and like everybody can do this. I promise you every single one of you who watched the video could certainly make this corsage. Maybe not as fast, but for sure fast. And that's it. So y'all have a good night and we will see you next week for another tutorial.